Hi, everyone. So who are we? So Target Integration was established in 2008 with the mission that every business should be able to leverage the full power of their business insights. So we have offices in Ireland, United Kingdom, three in India, um, and recently the United States. And we also have a development center in Greece in Thessaloniki. So target integration provide a perfect mix of quality and value. So we basically do implementations, we do integrations for our clients, we do migrations, um, and we just like to, you know, match the best solution with the client's, um, you know, business issues, uh, essentially. So clients come with us, um, cli clients come to us uh, looking for solutions. And even if we can't find the perfect one from them on our side, we will make sure to give an educated um, opinion um, based on what they have given us. In this video, we'll be looking at blueprints within Zoho Sierra. Zoho Sierra's blueprint is simply an online replica of a business process. It captures every detail of your entire offline process within the software. It facilitates automation, validation, and collaboration of teams, thus making your process more efficient and free from loopholes. Let's have a look at how to design a blueprint. Let's go into setup within Zoho CRM. You can either search it and I'll bring it out, or you can find it under process management and click blueprint. Now let's create a blueprint, shall we? You can click on that button to create a bl blueprint and you'll then be prompted to enter your blueprint name, the module applies to you, the layout and the field. I wanna keep it at the leads module, the layout as standard and the field as lead status. You can choose a criteria for which records are associated with this blueprint. So I'll click country is, I'm going to leave it at Ireland. And I click next and you're in the blueprint design page. So it's simply drag and drop. So it's quite straightforward. Your criteria is there. The module is there. So I'm going to click contacted. So it can be known for 12 hours. And we want to create an action in which it is associated with. So an email notification. You can select the recipients who will receive the email. So you can add an email and a secondary email. So the action I will add here is a task. And you can just attempt to recontact. Then wanna click save. You wanna create a transition. And create a description. So the record owner. So it's a common transition in this case. And you either wanna choose before, during, or after. Then into contacted, we can see here that you can have this blueprint as a continuous blueprint or just um, a one-off blueprint. So let's have a look here, publish, and allows you to publish your blueprint there. So depending on what kind of processes you have, you will design the blueprint in accordance to that, whether it applies to the leads, contacts, accounts, deals, purchasing, reports, products, quotes, activities module, depending on what kind of processes you have in place offline, you'll be able to apply it in Zoho CRM. So that's how you create a simple blueprint. Of course, if you wanted to go in detail, you would have to spend more time in defining your criteria and uh, creating your blueprint from there. So thank you very much. This is how you create blueprints within Zoho CRM. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye now.